This man is Richard Williams, and his story is rather remarkable. During his early years, he developed a love for tennis. Richard was very skilled at tennis, and it was easy to see he had a future in the sport. However, in 1912, he and his father boarded the to-be-doomed Titanic. His father sadly died, and Richard was close to joining him. Williams only managed to survive by climbing aboard a half-sunken lifeboat, which already had 30 passengers on it. By the time they were rescued, only 11 passengers remained, and Richard was one of the lucky few. And that wasn't the end of his lucky streak because six weeks later, he won his first tennis tournament. He then attended Harvard University and won the Intercollegiate Tennis Championship twice before enlisting in the U.S. Army. After the war, Williams resumed his tennis career. He won the U.S. Nationals twice and the Wimbledon Men's Doubles title in 1920. He died in 1968 at the age of 77.